Hi, this is Jeff Challen. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to get a copy of the Lab 3 Eclipse project that you're going to be using for this lab section. Now, the process is somewhat similar to what we've done in the first two labs, but in this lab, what we're going to do is we're going to use a GitHub development approach that's a little bit more common when you want to make changes to a project. So let's say you find a project online you think is cool and you want to make some modifications to it and make your own changes. If you clone the project directly, you're going to have to get permission from the people that maintain it in order to uh, commit and push your changes. But if you make your own copy first in a process that's known as a GitHub fork, um, then when you make changes, you can push them to your own copy of the repository. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so you do need a, a GitHub username for this part of the lab. If you don't have one, you can go ahead and, and create that now. It's a pretty simple process. Once that's done, you're going to go to the Lab 3 GitHub page. And up here in the right-hand corner, there's a button called Fork. When I hit this button, what's going to happen is it's going to ask me where I want to put it first. That's because I'm a part of several GitHub organizations, including you know, ones uh, maintaining materials for different classes and other projects I've worked on in the past. Uh, but I'm going to fork this into my personal GitHub account, and I would suggest that you do the same. Once I click on this, it will think for a minute. And then what happens is what you see here is I have my own copy of the project. So you can see it was forked from the CS125 Illinois Lab 3 project. But this project is GChallenge Lab 3. The URL is different. And I have permissions to both uh, push and pull. So to uh, re you know, uh, re receive, receive changes from this project and also to commit changes to this project. So now that I have my own copy, the process of getting it into Eclipse is identical to what we've done in the past. I go over here and I find this clone or download link. I click on the HTTPS uh, option. I copy this, go over into Eclipse. I'm going to import a project from Git. Close the general tab. I'm going to use this by clone URI. I put in the URI here. Hit next. Um, and again, this is all sort of a familiar dialogue that you've seen in the past. Um, and important as an existing Eclipse project, and now I'm done. And when I'm finished, what you should see, and you need to go on with the lab, there is nothing currently in source main Java. You need to create a file in here. That's uh, the challenge and one of the challenges in uh, today's lab. Um, but this is how to re to fork the lab from our uh, GitHub repository um, so that you can make your own copy and save your changes when you're done with the lab. Now, if you miss this step, uh, it is not the end of the world. There is a way to reconfigure the Git repository that you create to push and pull to your own repository. But this is by far the easiest method in the cases where you want to start with an existing project and make changes to it. So again, just to review, we start at the GitHub uh, Illinois Lab 3 project. I forked it here into my own uh, into my own username. When I was done, I have a copy of it here. This is my copy. I'm the owner and I can push and pull to it. And then I uh, followed the instructions that we followed in the past for cloning a copy and importing it into Eclipse.